Well, today, guys, we are going to be talking about the Leica R 90mm lens. Let's jump right into it. Alright guys, so I recently have been playing and testing filming with this Leica R 90mm lens and this, if you are unaware, this line of Leica R lenses has been really popular in the last couple of years. People have been scouring the interwebs for well conditioned and well priced R lenses because they have been converting them into cine lenses. And this was my first attempt at trying out these R lenses to see if I wanted to start investing in R lenses for a full on cine kit. A little backstory here. Now th I, there are a bunch of videos out there that kind of go over all different focal lengths of the R lens line. I'm sure you'll be able to find plenty of information out there, but I kind of want to just give you some of my pros and cons from using the lens and hopefully it will give you a, a better understanding of the use of the lens and kind of help you on your buying journey as well. So some of the pros, uh, it has a great look and feel, a great metal build. It really feels strong and sturdy in my hand. This obviously is just the adapter so I can adapt this lens to my Leica SL2. But this this is the, the whole lens here. Now this is fully extended and then this is now the fully extended hood. The hood, uh, what a lot of people have been doing is actually modifying this lens so this hood gets replaced so that they can actually put on an ND filter. Since I didn't have that modification, my ND filter situation was just me holding one in front of the lens, which, you know, it worked for what I was using it for. Wasn't shooting any like major projects with this lens, uh, kind of just some test footage. And so for that purpose, it worked really well. Another thing that people do to add to this lens is they put a gear ring on here and then they, and now they also de-click this aperture ring. Now the issue what I've been reading with people changing or de-clicking the aperture ring is the fact that over time the aperture ring will slowly creep uh, which is not ideal but having taken off the clicking of the aperture ring and having it more smooth does give you the option of like if you're shooting from indoors to outdoors or vice versa you know you have that ability to kind of stop down and it's a little bit smoother transition if it's not a click uh aperture ring and it's kind of just smooth but again seeing uh people's reactions and their, their testimonials i guess from de-clicking the aperture ring I don't know if I would actually do that off the bat, perhaps maybe down the line. I absolutely would get the gear ring around here and then uh, just the hood so I could actually put on an ND filter, but the aperture click, I think I would hold off on that. Just food for thought. Uh, another pro for this lens, I would say is the flat look can give you more information to work with in the grading process. It's easily convertible to other mounts. Uh, I only would be using it for the SL2 mount, so it's super easy for me to adjust it to the L bracket because like it does make an R to L bracket adapter, so that makes it really easy. You don't actually have to change out or convert the back to it. Also, another cool feature of this that I saw was that it flares really easily. So if you're into that type of look, this lens definitely can give you that that kind of like dreamy look, that uh, really cinematic Hollywood uh, kind of vintage look. So that was that was a really cool experience with this lens. A couple of cons that I came across though, in researching for prices for these lenses, sometimes they can be really expensive, especially now because they've become so popular. Uh, people are price gouging like crazy, and the worst part about that price gouging is the fact that you have online sellers that are price gouging these lenses but they are price gouging the wrong lenses so there's a couple different versions of these lenses you really have to do your research onto them to make sure you're getting the right version and the best quality of these are lenses so really be careful when you're out there looking for uh, these used uh, like a R lenses but overall I believe that I will be investing in these R lenses. I mean, they are pretty small and compact. I'm gonna actually throw this onto my video rig now so you can kind of see 
obviously I wouldn't need this uh, lens support up here, but you can see it makes it into a pretty small uh, footprint of a video rig, which I also like a lot. And I mean, this is just all day handheld, no problem whatsoever. And that's, that's really cool. But look at that, such a small little footprint. I love this, I love this setup. So if you've been looking for a Cine lens to kind of invest in, definitely would check out these R lenses. They are pretty cool. Um, it's just, you know, you're gonna need to take some time and actually do your research before I would say investing in one completely or investing in a full system because there are different versions, the quality of them, making sure there's no fungus in the glass and stuff. Cause you have to remember these are older lenses. So just taking the time, do your due diligence and don't just purchase one because you see a great price go in there ask for the serial number ask for photos of them like putting light through the lens make sure that uh it is in good condition for you uh before you do any purchasing i always advocate buying used like a gear from like a store miami specifically because of the used gear specialist that they have there a friend of mine by the name of josh if you've been to the store no doubt you have met him or called the store no i'm sure you have spoken to him at some point or another he is extremely thorough when it comes to used gear and man, the guy does his research and looks up serial numbers, different versions. And he has like an encyclopedia of all like lenses that he, he really knows what he's talking about. And he really does give fair value on all used gear. So definitely check out like a store Miami. If you are looking for any used camera gear specific for Leica's and until the next video, I'm Victor Quintana. Thanks for stopping by. You have a good day.